Previously on The Plot Thickens. I do enjoy travel, but sometimes my favorite type of travel is where I just lock myself in a room, you know? <laughs> and refuse to leave the room. You can yeah. go to other worlds that way. Yeah, I'm just still, uh, you know, trying to come to terms with what we read this week. What did you think? Well, it's very difficult to think at all after such a book. I know, I know. Magnification of the Human Soul by Unkwa Fadulade, the Shaman slash Future Seer. Wasn't it delightful? Didn't it speak to the very depths of what you felt of the Earth itself? It definitely reached deep inside me and scooped something out, yep. <laughs> you know, that seven-layer dip is still here. You know, the bottom layer should be basically gin by now. Oh, I thought that was a coaster. It does seem to have a rather firm consistency. It's the secret ninth layer. I'll, I'll try some, Reggie. Right, I mean, here. it sounds crazy for me to say that, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want to I try your thing, Reggie. Well, here you are, sir. I know. I will sample. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to this serialized installment of The Plot Dickens. I mean, he's just normally not this late. Um, perhaps he you know? stopped to contemplate the meaning of the written word partway here, hmm? I mean, I don't know how much there is to con contemplate about it, to be honest. The written word? Seriously? Well, I mean, the word that was the words that we read that were written uh, for today. Uh, I mean, it was just the comprehensive Mother Goose's nursery rhymes. <laughs> you well, yes, I guess. Don't you think it reflects the sub reflects the sublime truth of? English? Not only as a language, but as a thought vehicle? Well, I mean, every single poem was actually more of a political statement during a certain time of strife oh, in England. Yeah. Yes. So, mm, it's true, it's true. I suppose. Y'all got all that from a lady living in a shoe? Oh, yes, I, I thought mm -hmm. it was kind of... Uh, you know, it kind of kicked you in the face, as it were. <laughs> and I mean, she didn't know oh. what to do. Yes. So. Like the uh, it that too. So you're saying it's a whole like socioeconomic parable? Mm -hmm. Yes, the Steelworkers Union. It, what? Right? They didn't know what to do. They were trying to live by the the effort of walking to work. the shoes that's I, th I thought that was maybe that was just me i thought it was very obvious i thought it was a little obnoxiously like beating you over the face with it but you know and then it, it, um swallowed a fly the whole, yes and there's the whole jack sprack could eat no fat mm. and his wife could eat no lean that's very clearly a classism yes reference a, a, a dramatic condemnation of the upper class trodding upon the lower. You all you eat is lean. They're lean. They're thin from not getting enough nutrients. Hmm. 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 Well, Sorry. yeah, I guess so. What did you get out of it then? We maybe perhaps we're on different sides of a coin here. Well, I mean, I mostly got, uh, you know, sort of face value uh, children's rhymes. Um, <laughs> you know, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack set on a candlestick. You know, it mm -hmm. just seems mm -hmm. weird Go and on. painful. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what did that convey to you? Well, that I shouldn't very much like to sit on a candlestick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that would be, mm. you know, I tried to do that one, sit on a candlestick. Did you now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, just purify yourself from the inside out, you know, easiest way to do it, uh, was painful. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Pretty painful. Easy and painful. Oh, it's, uh, like passing through the eye of a needle, as it were. Where is Tad? I, I 
She is normally not this late. Yeah, I'm pretty worried because usually he's here way before I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does anybody have his phone? Can we call him or text him or email or TikTok him or... Well, he gave me my he gave me his phone number, but for some reason it mm. keeps uh, ringing to uh, some SunTech medical place. Does he work there? I do not believe so. Mm. Oh no, you don't think you don't think that he's he's in the hospital, do ya? I hope not. I mean that uh, that secret ninth layer should have worn off by now. <laughs> He's a very resilient gentleman, too, both physically and mentally. Very resilient to, you know, new thoughts and new experiences. Um. So perhaps. Oh! 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 Mida! Get the door! Thank you, you Marta! I'm right. I could. You- no? Okay. Oh, no, she can do it. She's got her slippers on. She can go to a door. Okay, okay, just making sure then that everybody's um on the on the <laughs> same page. As it were, sorry, I left at my own pun before it happened. <laughs> uh, seriously, Marta! I can... Re- Shit. I don't care if your hair is up in one of those the hair things. <laughs> we don't use those in the States. I, You're gonna use one. I'm right. Go. I can t- to Canada. I can see. I can touch the door from here. It's really no trouble. No, oh no, no! She needs to do her work. Mm. Uh, uh, very, Thank you, Martha. Very well. Thank uh, you. Oh. 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 Sorry, I'm uh, so late, everybody. I. Uh, hey there, Tad. How's it going? Hello. Uh, well, let me you- just. Uh, Limp on in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> limping? Tad, what's wrong? What? Good God, Tad, what happened to you? Uh, you look like you went through a meat pulverizer and then came out the other end and then went back through it a couple more times. Yeah. Was, While uh, getting just pulverized. A, just a, mm-hmm. a stop by my uh, chiropractor, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Bookie, and... Uh, hmm? Chiropractor what is named Bookie? Name? Mm, sure, yeah, yeah, I've got friends. Oh, <sighs> Ted, are you in hawk with people? What does that mean? I don't know. I, uh... <laughs> I don't understand either, and I'm... I'm I, I don't get the bird reference. Do Reggie, you Reggie, owe fill us all money? in. Yes, good, good. Do you owe money to characters of a nefarious sort? <laughs> what people that hit your knees with baseball bats? <laughs> uh, oh. oh yes, do you? Yeah. That sounds fun. No, that, uh, yes, uh, you are. You are. Yes or no? I mean, who who isn't? You know, I mean, you've got to get. I'm not. Know. Tell us about it. Oh, spare no excruciating detail. This is so delightful. I mean, horrible, but yeah, no. I mean, yes, it's terrible. Well, as you all know, I'm. Uh, uh, accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Right. And, uh, had a, a couple of investments, uh, that, uh, didn't quite meet the, uh, the payout I was expecting, and that set a series of things in motion, and mm-hmm. basically, uh, between, uh, between that and the payday loans, and I'm, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm fighting my way back up, but, uh, yeah, some people are, you know, some people can be real sticklers about money, you know? Oh, yes. Ridiculous people wanting what they're owed. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, know. I just, uh, you know, I recently had an experience that I really felt like money was a construct and uh, <laughs> didn't matter anymore. And Time is an illusion. There are those that say that life is an illusion. And, uh, and, and panda bears are actually the opposite of what you think. Oh. Oh. Anyway, I found they it very don't enlightening. They know Kung Fu? Oh, say what? <laughs> the panda bears, they don't know Kung Fu? Oh. Oh. Is it, do you think that they do? That's a bit of a letdown. I was kind of hoping that there, I would see it. There, well, there was that very true biopic. Oh. I, 
Yeah. Um. Then no, they don't. Oh. Well, I'm two disappointments I today. Think, I think a little bit of my heart died just there. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Do you have any good news, Tad? Uh, well, yeah, I, I uh, Reggie did agree to loan me some money. Really? That's true, I did, yes. Oh, it's a stand-up gentleman. <gasps> Are you going to break his kneecaps if he doesn't pay you too? <laughs> Is that part of the deal? Uh, I expect I will not be breaking anyone's kneecaps, no, sir. Oh. No, there's just, uh, you know, little help between friends. You know, just, uh, just, you know, keep away from the ponies with this one, eh? <laughs> the dogs yes <laughs> yes yes yeah no i've really uh started to mm. you know uh see the positive side of reggie because he's lent you money <laughs> all, all his sides are, are i just love all of his sides you know but he's just reggie is just a stand-up guy well thank you louise that's very nice of you to say yeah, it was. it was. Seriously, nothing with the kneecaps you, at all. Hmm. You know, if you need, if you need any help, Ted, any help at all, uh, I'm, I'm more than I am more than willing to let Marta go over to your house for a, a fraction of her fee. Oh, oh. is that so? Mm-hmm. Wow! Mm-hmm. How and then I could, uh, I could, uh, you know, put it upon her to, uh, you know, get me ice packs and so forth. Oh, yeah, she's real good at that. She knows how to make ice and everything. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's real mastery she's only, of uh, chemistry. There. She's, yeah, she's only, I don't know, Mar- I just, really, I just, uh, I, I, I have a checkbook and I sign my name and I just tell her, you know, put, put in whatever number you think is right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know. We can all do that kind of thing. <laughs> right. Well, do you think that she could, um, I could do a little trial run here and have her bring me an ice pack for my knee? Oh, sure. What's that? Marta! Um. Wow. I don't care if you still have your slippers on and your stupid hair thing. Don't put your, don't put your, your robe on. Um, wait, maybe she, wow. uh, if she's, if, um, perhaps, perhaps, uh, she should, huh. um. You, uh, and, um, anyway. you are working. I, I, I can, I, it's fine. I can get if, if she doesn't. Uh... Oh, no, no. This is supposed to be like a job interview for her right now. Bro. Yeah, Rowan, don't oh. screw this up for me, okay? Uh, um. Get, get the ice. He, Sorry? He needs ice. While we're waiting, uh, I just, I don't know Thank how far you. into the discussion you, uh, you folks might have gotten, but I wanted to say that I really enjoyed the, uh, the that story about the Peter cigar guy, very industrious with his gardening. Uh oh, God. Okay, yes, industrious. Yes, you. You did. You perhaps think it reflected the state of industry, um, or the 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 plight of the common man when taken uh, upon. I'm sorry, I can't really focus right now. That's a lot of screaming in the background. I <clears throat> uh, the plight of the common man. Um, when faced with uh, the, peppers, uh, yes, yes, peppers. Um, hmm. uh, yes. What was your Here favorite? You st- oh, here's, thank you. Here's your a pack of them. Here's some of them. Reggie, what was your favorite story? Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. Well, I think, um, you know, I like the one with the badger in it. Badger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tell us that one. I don't know. I don't well, know. it's, uh, you know, now. it's the one where uh, the badger was like, you know, you know, he was uh, in his little hidey hole and then the, uh, the old lady came by to, uh, to get him out of the hidey hole, get mm. his, uh, get his, get his honey or whatever. I didn't know that badgers even had honey. Yeah. Like, oh. What the hell? I opened honey. it. Yeah. Yeah. And um and so he eats the lady. Yeah. Uh-huh. I I'd, I'd never knew that one before. Brand new nursery rhyme to me. Very interesting. Hey, I thought I knew them all. 
Yeah, you, th- you think you, w- you would have by this point in your life, and just like, eh, nursery rhymes, who, who has new ones? Not, not me. Not I, said the cat. You know, that's why I and just cat- think it's so nice that we, we chose this as something to read. It's like we're rediscovering parts of our childhood, you know? Yes. I, d- I didn't grow up with these, but I, 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 it's, it's nice to have to glimpse into your histories. Like, what, what did you think growing up versus reading them today? Because I, I've got to imagine most people don't read nursery mm. rhymes as a matter of course through their daily lives. Well, that's, that's right, Rowan. You grew up with a whole different set of nursery rhymes. That's cr- uh, wow. What were I, some of yours? Um, well, there, there was one. Um, the, the queen is angry. The queen is mad. If you don't like the queen, she'll kill you. And that's bad. <gasps> oh, that's very good. No, I do like that. Yes, I think uh, maybe I'll No, capst- I said and that's bad. Oh, I thought you were saying it as, as kind of like an end statement to the, 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 the lots of respect for the queen in those days. It was a, uh, the monarchy oh. was very different growing up. Yeah. Queen Victoria. Killed lots of people. Well, I'm glad we're not talking about me anymore. <laughs> Do you want to? We can. I'm just What's kidding. Let's talk oh, about it me. Looks, it looks like there's somebody at the door there. One second. Oh. I'm just, yeah. I'm not going to yell at Martha anymore. She clearly decided that sleep was more important. So well, I'll be right back. Oh, I wonder how much sleep I'll have to allow Marta when she works for me. How much sleep do you normally allow your servants? Hmm. Six hours tops. Hmm. It's a bit generous of you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't have think- servants. Hmm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Reggie. <yes. laughs> I mean, you must, haven't you? You mustn't you. Oh, you, you don't. Reggie? I, uh, I do not. I cook my eggs myself, actually. Oh. oh. How delightful. Grotesque. <laughs> you must tell us about it sometime. It sounds absolutely uh, uh, proletariat of you. Tell me, Reggie, well, I mean, do you it's... use eggs for that? For... For cooking <laughs> eggs? Yeah. I don't know, it seems like a uh, fair question with your uh, culinary history. Uh, yes, sir, I do use eggs for that. That's great. Ooh. Ooh, how just new Art Nouveau. Fry them up in a pan, you know? Oh! Whoa. With, you know, have them with bacon toast and coffee. Bacon toast? All, all in one pan? Sort of a stir fry. Well, sometimes I cook the bacon in the same pan as the eggs, but you know the toast is made in the toaster. You don't clean them all at once. I'm learning so many new things today. I'm not gonna lie, Reggie. You saying that really made me want bacon. Do we have? Well, any? I mean, that's how bacon is. Never a truer word. Um, ex- excuse me, uh, Ted. Oh, uh, hi. Yes, I remember you. I'm not concussed. Should we change that? Okay, well, um, there, I have a couple of your friends <laughs> yeah. at uh, my front door here. Um, Social butterfly. Um, well, is that gentleman seven and a half feet tall? He's a very big boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall I uh, speak to them? Oh, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, oh I, they, I'll return. They are asking for you. Yeah, I'll just wheel over there in this chair. You want me to come with? Oh, if you if you if you care to, I I think that you know you're sort of a new friend of mine. It'd be great to uh, you know. Sh- uh, yeah, come on over. Hey, <clears throat> Todd. Oh, yes. Hello, Theodore. That's me, Theodore. Yeah, yeah, Teddy. This is uh, this is my friend Reggie here. Hey, Ted. I'm Reggie. Nice to meet you. I'm having a little nice. bit of a 
book club here talking about some real high literature stuff here. Uh, what, what, what can I do you for? Your payment is due. Yeah, 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 your payment's due. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you brought, you brought little Tim. Yeah, yeah, I'm little Tim. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah, okay. your payment's due. Yes. Good job, Tim. <laughs> Teddy and Tim, look, uh, I want to talk to you about these payments. Uh, they'll, they'll be they'll be coming, coming around the mountain when she comes. I don't know where that came from. They better be coming. Yeah. If they if they ain't coming, we coming. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, is that a threat? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, exactly. How much is this payment, and what is it for? A lot. I don't do numbers. I just... I do the numbers. Him does. I do the numbers. Yeah. I'll write it down for you. Do that. It's, uh, 70. 70,000. 70,000? That's the payment or that's the total debt? Oh, no. This is debt to payment. Payment. S- the 70- debt. <sighs> I don't got a calculator with me. It's a 70, lot. 70,020 dollars. The payment is seventy thousand dollars. That's right, Tad. What the hell have you been doing? He got a Fabergé egg. Is what he got. You got a Fabergé egg? Can't even make an omelet with it. I know. Who who, who wants who wants to cook with that? You can't. It's crystals. Crystals. I wasn't gonna. Of course, I wasn't gonna cook it. I was gonna have my servants cook it. <laughs> I wanted a Fabergé omelet. That will be the end for this <laughs> plot thickening like a fine roux. It was as deep Broom. as my voice could go. <laughs> it was good. It was good deep voice. Good. Deep yeah. Voice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks, for giving us a listen on this Monday. Uh, We release a new episode of The Plot Thickens every Monday, and you can also tune in on Thursdays where we release our flagship podcast, the Wasting All the Time podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and we shall see you next time. Until then, I've been Jess. I'm Dave. I'm Cody. And I'm John. Thank you so much for giving us a listen. Bye-bye. Bon voyage. Toodle butts. Good night, folks. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com, and there we have all the answers. Stoppage. Mm-hmm. Fabrice omelette. <laughs>